Whoa. Whoa. Don't. Please stop. All right, we are perched on the edge of this bridge, and we're gonna see if we can get across it. It's falling! It's falling! What's gonna happen? Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, this is Scrapman, bringing you another episode of Scrap Mechanic, and today we are back with the suspended mountain base project, uh, and if you haven't seen any of these episodes so far, go down in the description, check them out, because this has been a process of failure and uh, minor success, but we've managed to get two bridges, suspended bridges, successfully attached between the mountain and the base platform. And today's agenda, we're gonna be doing some experiments that you guys have requested down in the comments, including seeing if I can actually drive a car over this bridge without it screwing up. And um, also, we're gonna experiment with something that I know is gonna be impossible, which was the original idea was to have the uh, the base actually completely suspended by the bridges, meaning no hard connection points. Now, the reason why I think this is gonna be impossible is because in order to do that successfully and have the bridge be held up and level, I would have to make it so that every single bridge, which would be at least three, I think, would have to be attached to this in a way that their tension point is gonna be equal between all three of them only when the bridge, or only when the base is level, and I don't really have any way to do that. And with all the bridges being at different heights, it just, it's not gonna happen. But, that's not gonna stop me from disconnecting the base from its hard point and watching what happens. Just, just to see what happens, because you know that's gonna be fun. I will back up the world first though, so we're not gonna use it. Um, but, uh, let's get into it. So, first, what I'm gonna do is, um, you can see I've actually disconnected this here. I, what I did was I, I put the hard point, instead of this being the hard point, I actually put the hard point as a pillar to the ground for now. That way we can have freedom to uh, work with this section over here. So I'm gonna add a third and probably final suspended bridge right here. And this should be the easiest because this is the only one that is level from platform to mountain. This one was, the platform is lower than the mountain, and this one was higher than the mountain, which caused all kinds of crazy problems with trying to line up the bridge and get it attached. So this one should be the easiest, right? I mean, that's what I'm, that's what I'm thinking, but uh, it never works out that way, but we're gonna find out. So I think first things first, uh, I just have to make sure that I have the right measurement here. So it looks like two above what I'm standing on right now is how high I should make the attachment point over here. And you know what, I'm actually gonna have to make it maybe three high because of the things I have underneath the bridge. So we're gonna go with that. And all right, so I think this is it. I think this is our weld point. Now all I have to do is I, I already have a length of bridge, which I know is gonna be way longer than I need, but I think longer is better as long as there's no collisions. And I don't think there will be. Um, so then I can just cut the bridge at the right point. So here we are, we have bridge long. We can spawn this thing in. And now I just gotta grab an end on my weld tool, and I think we just weld it, and that is, it, it should be that easy. If I did this right, it should be that easy. But we are truly gonna find out, and that's kind of the wrong end. Let's go to the other end over here. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get to this end. Dang it! Wait, actually, you know what? I'll walk, here, this is how I'm gonna get to this end. I'm actually gonna walk on the bridge, and then I gotta grab this piece. Oh, but I don't know, I don't know what the right side of this piece is, to be honest. Because this is on a- Whoa! Of course. Of course that happens. Of course. But it's okay, because now I don't have to fly up anymore, because I got my, uh, my seat train going right up to the base. So that's convenient. There we go. So this should weld here. Is that upside down? No, this is the right way. Alright, it's working. It's working. I think this is gonna work. Alright, three, two, one, hit! All right, no lag, no issues so far. Now I just gotta get, oh, I got up onto it, okay. This is, this is turning out way better so far than anything else I've done in this series yet. Uh, let's hope it stays this way. So yeah, here we go. Now all I have to do, this is pretty much gonna be our, our end point right here. And it's supported underneath, so I should just be able to cut it right here without any issues. Yep. And I can delete this one. Oh wow, this is so much easier when the base is level. You know, see, that would have been the way to do it if it was possible, if I wanted to make the base actually suspended, is to have 
a bunch of level points and then have them go straight out here and attach them at the same point. And that way they would all be, all the bridges would be at the same tension when it drops. But that's not gonna happen because we have different lengths, different distances from each uh, hard point or from each uh, bridge attachment and also different heights. So that's why I don't think this is going to work out the way I originally intended, but we're gonna try we're gonna try it anyway once we get to that point, which should, shouldn't be too long from now. So let's see. I think what I should do, I should make another, I should make another bearing. So yeah, we'll, we'll delete right here for now. And then that section is going to add another bearing. So that way, when I delete uh, the, the beam underneath here, this bridge can fall down freely, whoops, from this attachment point right here. All right, so let me just compare to my other ones. What did I do? Looks like I just made, all right, yep. I just like I just made it the same width as the bridge itself. All right, I'm hoping that is going to be enough uh, of a anchor. It should be, should be enough. So now I think all that's left is to delete these controllers and then delete the beam and see what happens. But after I delete these controllers, I'm definitely backing up the world because I do not want to lose what I've just done, which actually wasn't too bad. This hasn't been too bad so far, but I just want to make sure we can continue and not lose too much time here. All right, all the controllers are deleted, time to back up, and then I'm going to detach the beam, and hopefully nothing goes terribly wrong. All right, the game is backed up, and now is the time to delete one more block and see what happens. I'm gonna catch it with my lift though. And there we go. Oh, I missed. Oh boy, there it goes. This seems a lot glitchier than it has been for the other bridges, which is weird because this is the shorter one. Why is it shaking so bad? Please don't do this. Please be nice. Oh, maybe it's, hold on a sec. Come on, I just, I wanna delete. I wanna delete something very specific. Stop bouncing me, please. Okay, that didn't do it either. I'm stuck. Oh, oh, oh. Um, I'm gonna touch it with a lift. Whoops, I forgot I had the other thing on top of it, but that seemed to actually work, I think. Here, let me delete this. No, it's still freaking out. Why are you freaking out? The other ones aren't freaking out. Why would this one freak out? Is there too much tension on it? Do I need to leave a little bit less tension? Yeah, the whole bridge is freaking out for some reason. I knew it couldn't be that easy. I knew it just, it wasn't gonna be that easy. I'm gonna extend this. Maybe there's just too much tension on it and it needs to be loosened up a little bit. So I'm gonna extend that and I'm going to extend this as a safety measure. And then what I'm gonna do is delete, I'm gonna delete this. All right. I think it worked. Hmm. I think that actually it worked. Yeah, it's not shaking anymore. So that must have been it. There must have been too much tension in there. So now if I just replace. Whoa, whoa, don't please stop. Please stop. All right, I guess. Wait, is it still doing it? It's still doing it. Why is this so weird? All right, come on. Don't be weird. You were you were fine. All right, all right. It's fine now. It's fine now. Everything's okay. I'm just gonna uh. Maybe I need a little bit more space in here. I'm gonna delete this part right there. And uh, this part right there. And now I'm gonna put this in here. All right, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Now if I just delete this section. Okay. All right. I think it's working. And I can make this look more bridgey. And will that work? Okay. And then we're back to normal pretty much, other than not having that part right there. But you know what, I can just, I can fill that in. 
We could just put an angle block to make it look a little bit less awkward. Yeah, that worked. Actually, I might be able to put this block in now. It's working. It's working. Totally working. All right, so that is secured. What happens if I put... If I just enclose this in now. That's working too. All right, now that's even more secure than the other ones. It kind of annoys me that I use slightly different methods for each one. Like, I think this is the best one because it has a perfect line up here for the staircase. Whereas the other ones, you can see, I think this is my like second best one. It has this weird, you can see the hinge here and there's that gap and then it lines up. And then this one is just weird. It just, it's not the best. This is, this is the worst design probably. Um, we can't actually really walk up this one that great. Why is this awkward? We gotta fix that too. There we go. Yeah, and I had to like make cutouts here. So yeah, each one was a slight improvement upon the previous, but actually with this one, I might be able to do the same thing. If I just put this in here. All right, now I'm just paranoid that if I place one block wrong, the entire bridge is gonna freak out because I've already seen that happen. There we go. And then I could probably do the same thing with the angle block right there. Yep, and then that, that settles it down so I can do this block. All right, it, all right, now this one is pretty much equivalent to the other one, except for that weird thing going on right there, like delete that part. All right, so now we have that, that was okay. It was okay, that wasn't, didn't give us too much trouble, no major calamities, unlike last time. And I'm a little bit annoyed, although it's kind of cool that it goes through a tree here. It kind of gives the whole like suspended base treehouse type feel. So now I'm going to back this up again, and then, just out of pure experimental curiosity, I'm going to delete the support beam for this and see what happens if the entire base falls with just uh, the attachments on these suspended bridges. Sound like fun? Or, wait, let's do that last. Let's first, let's try to drive a vehicle across one of these bridges. I think this one's probably the easiest. That one's probably the hardest. And actually, I'm gonna go with, yeah, this one's the longest, so that one's probably gonna be the most sketchy. So let's start with this one and see if, if we can do this. Now the question is, do I have a vehicle that is skinny enough? I wonder if my mad scrap car can, uh, can do it. All right, this car looks pretty big now that it's up here, doesn't it? And actually, now that I think about it, you know what, I actually might want to use my piston version that I made for the piston, uh, the, the piston special, the piston update, because I'm gonna need to, I'm gonna need to see if I can get this thing up and over that staircase. But the question is, is this even, is this even skinny enough? I don't think it, no, I don't, nope. This is actually a really skinny bridge, isn't it? But you know what, let's just see what happens. I'm gonna get in this thing and we're just gonna see how our wheels line up. Oh, geez, that is skinny. That is a skinny bridge. This is not gonna work. There is no way that this is gonna work. Nope, my wheels are directly wide enough. Like, exactly, oh, no, 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 no. They're exactly wide enough to uh, not work. So I'm gonna get out of here while I still have the chance. And uh, there it goes. I'm just gonna let it fall. Just watch it fall down. Actually, let's get on the bridge. It'll probably be a better view. I scrap, oh, and I'm coming with you. Can I get in the seat? Oh, I was so close. I saw the seat. I saw the seat signal or the seat symbol, but I couldn't get in. All right, so let's see if I can find a smaller vehicle to take across these things. You know what? I'm half tempted to use my uh, mono wheel here. See if this thing works. I don't know. The only thing is, I don't know if the balance is gonna work because the balance requires it to detect the ground on the sides. So there's gonna be no ground detection on the sides with this thing. But let's see if we can, oh! All right, we're, we're in now, we're, we're committed. We are committed. The question is, do I go straight, do I just go as fast as I can or do I try to actually like go in a controlled manner? <gasps> I'm just rolling. I am rolling, it's working. Oh my God, it's working. Nice and slow, nice and slow. Uh. Uh. 
<laughs> we made it. We made it. We actually made it. All right, let's just get off there. Oh my god, we actually made it. I did not expect that. All right, that was the easy version though. Next, let's see if we can go on the 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 downwards one, and then we're gonna see if we can go on the really really long one. But this vehicle is like the perfect size, and I'm really surprised that it actually kind of worked. Uh, with the balance, despite being on a bridge with no edges to it. We are going for bridge number two, which I'm going to assume is medium difficulty compared to the last one. All right, just stay straight. Here we go. Whoa. All right, well, it goes over the stairs really nicely, so that's a good plus. All right, here we go. I'm just gonna let it roll. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I'm just letting it roll. I'm just letting it roll. Oh, we're using it! We're using the bridge! This is so awesome! And they're not even breaking! Oh my god, we just took a bridge from the base to the mountain. That it- I don't know why this is so awesome to me. Is this awesome to you guys? Am I the only one who thinks this is awesome? Like, this is actually working. Now we just have the longer bridge. Longer bridge means more bearings, which means more things can go wrong. And we also gotta go up a little bit too, which is gonna be the more difficult thing. Going down is easy, going up, probably not so much. All right, here we go. Last bridge on hard mode. After we do this, we're gonna be disconnecting the entire base from the ground and seeing what happens with that too. All right, just get up nice and slow. Man, this vehicle works way better than I ever really expected it to, I think. But uh, by the way, if you're wondering what this vehicle is from, it's from my, uh, my monowheel or my uh, unicycles video. All right, we are perched on the edge of this bridge and we're gonna see if we can get across it. Here we go, in three, two, one. <laughs> we're rolling, we're roll, uh oh, 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 okay, all right, we're good, we're good. I'm still rolling, still rolling, this is okay. This is fine, everything's fine. Oh, don't fall, everything's fine. Go, 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 oh, <gasps> the bridge is freaking out. Mm. Oh, God, go. oh, the gas is a little sensitive. I probably should have turned the gas down a little bit. Up, 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 I'm just tapping it, just trying to tap it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, we're almost there. Uh, oh, uh. Uh, yeah. We did it! <laughs> is the bridge still okay? Oh, I should delete some of this stuff up here. But it looks like the bridge is still okay. Oh, this is amazing! It's actually working pretty much as intended, which really surprises me. So uh, I'm very happy with this so far. Let's delete these things. Yeah, let's do this. Let's see if we can get back to the base from the edge here. Now this is going to be weird because we actually have to get onto the bridge from a weird angle. We're gonna see if this works. Whoop, and why is it? Oh, well that makes sense. Cause the uh, the ground was a little bit lower in front of it. All right, on, oh, come on. Come on sensor, work. Yeah, the sensors are probably having a really weird time right now since there's so many gaps in the bridge, but it's dealing with it pretty well. Uh oh, really? <laughs> My kickstands are perfect perfectly designed to get me stuck here. That's ridiculous. All right, let's back up. Or not. You know what, this is fine too. Come on, come on. All right, I'm just gonna have to delete that. And, whoops, and that. Now we should be good. Really? Why? Okay. <laughs> that kind of scared me a little bit, but we're okay, we're okay now. I'm just gonna go as fast as I- I'm going as fast as I can, holy crap! Whoa! It worked! I can't believe we didn't fall! I was just gunning it there and we didn't fall, so, alright, that was a resounding success. This is probably the most successful episode of the suspended bra- ba ba uh, suspended base, bridge base, that we've had so far. So, the next thing though, I absolutely know is not going to be successful. I just want to see how it fails, because it's going to fail somehow, but I don't know exactly how it's going to do it. So, make your predictions. Here's what I think are the possibilities. When I delete the structure underneath that is holding up this bridge, there are a couple things that I think can happen. First is 
the bridges will glitch through and detach. Some or all of them will glitch through their anchor points and detach from the base, causing it to mess up. The second is um, they will stay attached and then they will just be glitching out crazily and doing weird teleporty bearing things. And a third option is they will all stay attached and not glitch out, but the base will be suspended at a really, really weird and awkward angle and um, maybe be even touching one of the mountains. I don't know. We're going to find out what happens, but leave your predictions right now uh, on those three options or offer another one that I didn't think of. What do you think is going to happen? All right, I'm going to jump down. Whee! I'm just gonna delete this one thing. I'm gonna grab it on a lift and I'm just gonna place it away from the bridge on a lift. All right, I think that's the best way to do it. Ugh. Oh boy. All right, I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna bring it over here. All right, ready and go. Wait, oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I am such an idiot. I don't know why I thought deleting the bottom thing was going to detach it from the, uh, from the actual pillar. I basically detached the base with the pillar from the ground. I, I was not thinking through, so all of the bridges got separated because I took the base with me. So that's why we're going to reload um, the other one that we saved, luckily, before we did the, uh, the craziness. And we are going to go ahead and, um, we're going to go ahead and try this the right way. Oh, whoops. Well, I was even more of an idiot than I thought I was. I, my last save was actually before I deleted this beam, which means that the bridge is still gonna be freaking out, which means that I have to do the whole redo. Oh no. Oh no, do you know what just happened? This was the backup file and the bridge just got detached. So we're gonna have to do this whole bridge all over again if I wanna continue. Well, remember when I said that that was easier than, uh, than I expected it to be? This was the most successful episode yet? Well, I take all that back because everything we did is lost and I have to do it again. Okay, we are back. I have successfully attached the bridge once again, and it, uh, it's not exactly the same length. I think it might be a little bit longer than it was before, but it, it works just as well as it did before, so that's good. So now what I have to do is, um, in order to detach the base from the pillar, I have to do it from up there, not down here, because <laughs> obviously if I delete it from down here, the pillar is still attached to the base, so that was just stupid. Um, but I acknowledge my own stupidity. So don't worry about that. Alright, I'm just gonna delete this one block. And hopefully it'll still be supported on this one block. And then I'm gonna jump down and then move the pillar. I don't know how this is gonna work. Alright, ready? Hit! Alright, 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 it's on the block. It's on the block, it hasn't fallen yet. Here it goes, moment of truth. Delete this. Now I gotta move it out of the way. Quickly, 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 and here we go! It's falling! It's falling! What's gonna happen? Oh, there go- Oh, one bridge! Two bridges! Three bridges! Oh, they all fell off! So I think that was what? That was hypothesis number one? That all of the bridges were gonna get disconnected and glitch through? Oh, that was exciting though! Wow! So how many of you were- How many of you made the right prediction that all of the bridges were gonna glitch through and it was not going to stay attached? Uh, all right, so I definitely backed up the world this time though, so don't worry about that. All right, let's load back in, and then we're gonna talk about uh, what you guys want to see for the next episode, because we're getting to we're getting to a key turning point now. This is the state of the build now. So we've done a third successful bridge. We've tested the bridges. They are usable for driving a at least a semi-light vehicle across them, which is kind of cool. So what I'm gonna want to do is make some more official entrances on, build some more official entrances onto the bridges so we can easily walk up onto each bridge from the mountains. But my question is, it's almost time to start building the base itself and not just the suspended bridge part. So the question is, what do you want to see? What kind of theme do you want? Uh, what style of base? Do you want it like modern home? Do you want it to be tree house themed? I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know what I want to do with the actual base parts. This was the main kind of experiment was the suspension, the spent suspended bridges. And the other thing is, um, how do you want the anchor points to work? Because right now I just have this metal pillar thing that's just convenient for me to get up and down with the seats. But 
We could do it. I've seen a, some interesting suggestions. One interesting suggestion was to create a fake um, guide rail that is actually static and not suspended like the bridges, but make the fake guide rail to the bridge. And then that guide rail will be the anchor point. So it's kind of like an illusion. Another thing I was thinking is by making a different anchor point that is kind of close to the bridge, maybe like a lookout point over here and then attach the bridge to the lookout point or something as the main anchor. So those are my two questions to you guys in the comments. How do you wanna see the design of the base uh, go? What kind of theme do you want the base to be? And uh, what? how do you want me to anchor it? What do you think is a good idea for uh, an anchor point that's not gonna be too obvious or too ugly looking? So I hope you guys are enjoying this project so far. I've definitely been having a lot of fun with it. We had a lot of success today and also some of the worst stupidity I've exhibited so far, I think. I mean, it's kind of hard to compare. This whole series has a lot of stupid in it, but also a lot of amazing success. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. Let me know what you want to see in the next episode. This has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Welcome to the end screen. Well, you'll probably click away before I get to tell you to subscribe for more fun. And if you really like me, but like not in a creepy way, support me on Patreon. Oh yeah, check out this awesome video I made over here. It's probably even better than this one. Or it might be worse, actually. But if you don't click it, I guess you'll never know.